It's no secret that the United States is the leader in the sky. A huge number of fighters, bombers, and helicopters terrify the enemies. But this cannot be said of the country's air defenses. Since the end of the Cold War, Washington has focused on long-range weapons such as the Scud R-17 ballistic missiles. Short-range air defense units, on the other hand, were reduced and consisted mainly of Avenger systems, which have long since fallen short of modern standards. The events of recent years, including the conflict between Russia and Ukraine that began in 2014, as well as the war in Syria, have shown the full power of Russian drones UAVs. As a consequence, there was an urgent need not to just restore, but also to build up SHORAD, short-range anti-aircraft defense forces. Today, we'll find out what kind of answer the American authorities have prepared for their enemies. This is Military News, and here we go. So, Mobile Maneuver Short-Range Air Defense, or MSHORAD for short, is an anti-aircraft, self-propelled missile and cannon system designed to combat a wide range of air threats. The project became known in 2018. Such companies as General Dynamics, Land Systems, and Leonardo DRS worked on the development. The second, by the way, is the American branch of the Italian Corporation. Several other organizations were involved as suppliers of individual units. The first four prototypes were received by the 5th Division 4th Air Defense Artillery Regiment, 54ADA, part of the 10th U.S. Air and Missile Defense Command in Europe. Recall that the 54ADA was formed the same year in Ansbach, Germany, becoming the first such unit in the States in 13 years. Tests of prototypes were successful, and in September this year, America signed a contract to produce the first full series of 36 units. All in all, Washington plans to purchase 144 units, which will subsequently be deployed inside the country. Two units will be rearmed by the end of the current fiscal year, and the remaining two will switch to M. Shorad during the next. The entire program will cost the government, according to preliminary estimates, $1.2 billion, and one such complex will cost just under $8.5 million. But I should note that the cost will include testing, spare parts, and the vehicle itself. In its characteristics and capabilities, M. Shorad surpasses its predecessor, Avenger. It lacks mobility and protection since it's based on an HMMWV and uses only Stinger anti-aircraft missiles. To speed up and simplify development, the new SAM is based on the Stryker A1 lightly armored wheeled vehicle, which provides 14.5mm bullet protection. The vehicle has an all-wheel drive, 8x8, which increases its mobility and mobility to the level of other armored vehicles, as well as simplifies the supply process. I should note that the complex can also use other platforms if the customer wishes so. The hero of our review is equipped with Mission Equipment Package MEP, with a reconfigurable integrated weapons platform RIWP turret developed by Moog. The turret is equipped with an MX GCS Optronic Equipment Package with day, night, and laser channels, plus radio friend or foe identification equipment is provided. The weapon system used here is an artillery unit with a 30mm XM914 cannon capable of hitting a target at a distance of up to 4 kilometers with a rate of fire of over 600 rounds per minute. And the 7.62mm M240 machine gun firing up to 1,000 rounds per minute. In addition, on the starboard side is the SVUL launcher with four Stinger missiles, FIM-92, which can attack a target at a range of up to 8 kilometers at Mach 2. The left side has four Hellfire missiles, AGM-114, which have a slightly lower speed, only one Mach, but the range is increased to 11 kilometers. 
inside the vehicle, placed inside the control units for surveillance and weapons, the workplace of the crew, etc. It's also possible to carry additional missiles to recharge the launchers. Target detection and tracking are carried out with the help of a multi-missile hemispheric radar (MHR). This Israeli development by Rada Electronic Industries includes four active phased antenna arrays. The radar is capable of all-around surveillance in the upper hemisphere and can detect enemy fighters at a distance of 20 to 30 kilometers. Artillery shells or mortar shells, depending on the caliber, it's seen at a range of 5 to 10 kilometers. Armored vehicles, BMP, APC, MBT, are detected at a range of 17 to 20 kilometers. As for drones, which recently posed the greatest danger, they're detected at a range of 3.5 to 4 kilometers. The radar equipment can be used both when stationary and when the anti-air system is in motion. Amshorad is often compared to the Russian Panzer S anti-aircraft system. Many argue that both the electronic equipment and armament of the machines are approximately on the same level. However, it should be remembered that such a comparison is only theoretical because most of the American characteristics are still classified. And in contrast to the Russian SAM, it still has no experience in combat use. To summarize, I'd like to say that the design part was implemented in a really short time. The idea of using only off-the-shelf components for the vehicle on the one hand helped save the lion's share of the budget, not to mention the design time. On the other hand, the designers face problems at the integration stage. Although the developers assert that they've already managed to solve them, and the Ready Complex is going through the next stage of testing before the launch of the series. It turns out that now the fate of air defense depends not so much on the promising designs as on the contracting organizations and their ability to build the required quantity of equipment in time. I hope this review was useful for you. Your likes and subscriptions show that I'm doing everything right, so don't forget about them. Well, leave your opinion on the promising M. Shorad in the comments below this video. See you soon, dear friends.